Chapter 13 Direct and Indirect Reported Speech A. There are two ways of reporting the words of a speaker. 1. Direct Speech 2. Indirect Speech Look at the sentences given below. 1. He said to me Subject of Reporting Verb Reporting Verb Object of RV You have never told me about her. Second person pronoun, first person pronoun, reported speech, third person pronoun. 2. He told me that I had never told him about her. These two sentences illustrate the two ways in which we may report the words of a speaker. In the sentence first, we give the exact words used by the speaker. This is called direct speech. Note. In sentence 1, said to is called the reporting verb and you have never told me about her is called the reported speech. Besides, we have subject of the reporting verb he, object of the reporting verb me and first, second and third person pronouns me, you and her. In sentence 2, we do not give the exact words of the speaker but give only the substance of what he said. This is called indirect speech. b. Some points about direct and indirect speech. a. Direct speech. 1. The actual words of the speaker reported speech are put within inverted commas. 2. The first word of the reported speech begins with a capital letter. 3. A comma is placed after the reported verb to separate it from the reported speech. b. Indirect speech. 1. The reported words are not placed within inverted commas. In other words, the inverted commas are not used in the indirect speech. 2. No comma is used after the reporting verb. 3. The tense of the reporting verb remains unchanged. 4. The form of the reporting verb said, said to changes into said, told. If the reported speech is an assertive sentence. If the reported speech is an interrogative sentence, the RV said to is changed to asked, inquired. If the reported speech is an imperative sentence, the RV said, said to changes to ordered, advised, requested, begged, told, etc. according to the sense of the reported speech. In case the reported speech is an exclamatory sentence, the RV said changes to exclamate with wonder, sorrow, joy, etc. according to the sense of the reported speech. Finally, if the reported speech is an optative sentence, the RV said changes to wished, prayed. 5. The comma before the reported speech is removed. It is often replaced by a suitable conjunction. 6. The tense of reported speech is changed with regard to the tense of the reported verb and the nature of the reported speech. c. Rules for change of direct speech into indirect speech. 1. Change of tenses. a. If the reporting verb is in the present or future tense, the tense of the verb in the direct speech is not changed. Examples. Direct. The stranger says, I am hungry. Indirect. The stranger says, that he is hungry. Direct. She will say, I have lived here for many years. Indirect. She will say, that she has lived here for many years. b. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, the following rules are observed in changing the direct speech into indirect speech. 1. The simple present becomes the simple past as Example. Direct. She said, I am busy. Indirect. She said that she was busy. 2. The present continuous becomes past continuous. Example. Direct. He said, my father is writing letters. Indirect. He said that his father was writing letters. 3. The present perfect becomes past perfect. Example. Direct. They said, we have done our duty. Indirect. They said, that they had done their duty. 4. The present perfect continuous becomes past perfect continuous. 
examples direct radhika said shilpa has been playing since morning indirect radhika said that shilpa has been playing since morning 5 the simple past is often but not always changed to the past perfect examples direct sanjana said i drank coffee after the meal indirect sanjana said that she drank or had drunk coffee after the meal past or past perfect direct he said rain fell last night indirect he said that rain had fallen the previous night past perfect 6 the past continuous is changed into the past perfect continuous example direct reena said nina was reading a story indirect reena said that nina had been reading a story note the past perfect and the past perfect continuous tenses do not change 7 will is changed into would examples direct ritu said rahul will sing a song indirect ritu said that rahul would sing a song 8 shall is changed into should or would example direct they said we shall play the match indirect they said that they should would play the match 9 can is changed into could example direct sohan said sonia can drive indirect sohan said that sonia could drive 10 me is changed into might example direct sujata said sonia may not join the club indirect sujata said that sonia might not join the club c exceptions 1 if the direct speech relates to some universal fact or habitual fact its tense remains unchanged irrespective of the tense of the reporting verb examples direct the teacher said the earth revolves around the sun indirect the teacher said that earth revolves around the sun direct he said heat melts ice indirect he said that heat melts ice direct she said i do yoga exercises daily in the morning indirect she said that she does yoga exercises daily in the morning 2 if the direct speech states a past historical fact the simple past tense remains unchanged example direct the teacher said india became free in 1947 indirect the teacher said that india became free in 1947 3 if the direct speech states two actions that took place at the same time the simple past or the past continuous tense is not changed examples direct she said manoj sat idle while it rained indirect she said that manoj sat idle while it rained direct he said sudha was reading while sancha was writing indirect he said that sudha was reading while sancha was writing. 2 rules for change of personal pronouns a pronouns of the first person in the reported speech are changed into those of the same person as that of the subject of the reporting verb examples direct i said i am happy indirect i said that i was happy direct you said i am busy indirect you said that you were busy direct he said i am quite well indirect he said that he was quite well b pronouns of the second person in the reported speech are changed into those of the person of the noun or pronoun that comes after the reporting verb examples direct rajiv said to me you are very hard working indirect rajiv told me that i was very hard working direct i said to him you cannot finish the work in time indirect i told him that he could not finish the work in time direct you said to me you must meet her indirect you told me that i must meet her c pronouns of the third person generally remain unchanged examples direct rajiv said to me 
he has learnt his lesson indirect rajiv told me that he had learnt his lesson direct i said to him they will play the match indirect i told him that they would play the match 3 change of words showing nearness while changing a sentence from direct into indirect speech words showing nearness in time and place are generally changed into those denoting distance examples direct indirect this that these those here there now then today that day tonight that night last week the previous week tomorrow the next day yesterday the day before or the previous day hence forward thens forward thus in that way ago before earlier next week the following week hereby thereby examples direct he said to me your friend came yesterday indirect he told me that my friend had come the day before direct i said to him you may see me tomorrow indirect i told him that he might see me the next day direct kapil said i cannot play now indirect kapil said that he could not play then note if this here and now in the direct speech refer to the objects present at the time of reporting the speech indirectly or to the place of time at which the speech is reported indirectly they remain unchanged examples direct he says this is my pen indirect he says that this the pen before the speaker is his pen direct he said to me i shall see you here tomorrow indirect he said to me i shall see you here tomorrow indirect he told me that he would see me here the next day the speech is reported indirectly on the same spot d conversion of assertive sentences in changing an assertive sentence from direct into indirect speech the following changes are made a the reporting verb say is changed to tell in form answer remark declare reply etc b the conjunction that is used to connect the reported speech with the principal clause c a noun used as a word of address is made the object of the reporting verb d the objective form of the noun or pronoun me us you him her them is used after told examples direct the teacher said to me i have no spare time today indirect the teacher told me that he had no spare time that day direct the boy said mother i shall become a doctor one day indirect the boy told his mother that he would become a doctor one day direct the sage said to the gathering virtue has its own reward indirect the sage told the gathering that virtue has its own reward direct the headmaster said sunil is intelligent indirect the headmaster remarked that sunil was intelligent direct the prime minister said india will fight to the last man indirect the prime minister declared that india would fight to the last man e conversion of interrogative sentences while changing the interrogative sentences from direct into indirect speech the following changes are made a the reporting verb is changed to ask inquire demand want to know etc b if or whether is used after the reporting verb when the question begins with a helping verb c if the question begins with a question word who what which why how etc no conjunction is used to connect the reported speech with the principal clause d the question form is changed into the assertive form and the question mark is removed examples direct he said to me are you joining our club indirect he asked me 
whether if I was joining their club. Direct, I said to Ajay, will you lend me your book? Indirect, I inquired of Ajay if he would lend me his book. Direct, the teacher said to me, have you solved the sum? Indirect, the teacher asked me whether I had solved the sum. Direct, I say to the child, what are you doing? Indirect, I asked the child what he was doing. Direct, the teacher said to the students, why are you making a noise? Indirect, the teacher inquired of the students why they were making a noise. Direct, they said to me, when are you joining this office? Indirect, they asked me when I was joining that office. If, conversion of imperative sentences. 1. Read the following examples. Direct, the beggar said to me, please give me some money. Indirect, the beggar requested me to give him some money. Direct, the teacher said to the boy, work hard. Indirect, the teacher advised the boy to work hard. Direct, he said to the servant, bring some fruits from the market. Indirect, he ordered the servant to bring some fruits from the market. Direct, the captain said to his men, stand at ease. Indirect, the captain ordered his men to stand at ease. Direct, the doctor said to the patient, do not smoke. Indirect, the doctor advised the patient not to smoke. Or, the doctor forbade the patient to smoke. Note, in reporting imperative sentences in the indirect speech, the following changes are made. A. The reporting verb is changed to request, order, command, advise, entreat, threaten, etc. B. The verb in the reported speech is put in the infinitive. 2. Use of let in imperative sentences. Let is used A. To make a proposal B. To allow or to persuade C. To express concession or contrast A. When let expresses a proposal or a suggestion, the reporting verb is changed to propose or suggest and let is replaced by should. Example, direct. I said to him, let's play. Indirect, I proposed or suggested to him that we should play. B. When let means to allow or persuade, it is changed to the infinitive to let or to the phrase might be allowed to. As, example, direct, I said to him, let me have my own way in this matter. Indirect, I requested him to let me have my own way in that matter. Or, I requested him that I might be allowed to have my own way in the
see when let expresses concession or contrast it is changed to might example direct i said let him try ever so hard he will not succeed indirect i said that he would not succeed however hard he might try g conversion of optative and exclamatory sentences in reporting an optative expressing a wish or an exclamatory sentence expressing strong feelings in the indirect speech the following changes are made a the reporting verb is changed to one wish or pray etc in optative sentences and two exclaim applaud confess etc in exclamatory sentences b the interjunctions and exclamations are omitted and their sense is expressed by using adverbs or adverb phrases with the reporting verb c the conjunction that is generally used to introduce the reported speech examples direct she said may you prosper my daughter indirect she wished that her daughter might prosper direct we said may god grant peace to the departed soul indirect we prayed that god might grant peace to the departed soul direct what a terrible storm it is he said indirect he exclaimed that it was a terrible storm direct she said alas how foolish i have been indirect she confessed with regret she had been very foolish direct he said good bye my friends indirect he bade good bye to his friends direct she said oh for a glass of cold water direct she cried out for a glass of cold water direct he said god save the king indirect he prayed that god might save the king direct he said bravo you have done well indirect he applauded him that he had done well direct he said hurra my friend has won a lottery prize indirect he exclaimed with delight that his friend had won a lottery prize direct he said how i wish they would come indirect he exclaimed that he wished that they would come